welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my subscribers and welcome to the newcomers. I hope you enjoy, you like what you see and become part of this journey with me by subscribing. Give us those thumbs up. It's very important for the video to circulate. And of course, subscribing helps to grow the channel. So thank you so much, everybody, for your support and your beautiful comments. We're going to finish creating part two of the uh, Calla Lilies uh, table runner. So we're just going to get right into it. We left off where we're doing the little, I have to make sure I get this camera properly, uh, where we left the green little leaves. And I told you we, I'd come back to where it is. Uh, unites pattern with pattern so we finished doing the the uh, leaves here and we're going to do one chain and we're going to come right in the the chain and we're going to do three single crochets just put my thread here and we're going to do one right in the center and three more on the other chain so single crochets and then we go into the first V and continue to do our paddles so very simple you're going to do that in the four um, in the four corners or the middle if you want to call it between the patterns I hope you guys are enjoying this little table runner. I decided to do it for the kitchen table because I have quite a bit for the dining room table. So I'm using only three uh, dollies together. Okay, so we continue creating the paddles for, for the flowers. Okay, so very simple, nothing, nothing complicated. It's just a little bit more touchy doing the flowers, of course. One chain, one single, and we're going to continue until we meet right at the end. One, two. And complete double crochets. Okay, so we have just a few more left and we're right there already. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. And like I said, people, so you come to the last one here, just go in with three singles, one single in the middle here, and uh, three more singles and then you create your pattern okay so we're pretty much at the end from where we started one chain and you would just lock it up on to its space here and your chain. I am so glad I got one less chain on my hook here. Grab your little scissors, if you're not scissors, your needle if you have a smaller one. Make a knot because I like to knot all my patterns and just pull through some of the loops here. And get it right to the center because we're gonna hide it with the with the flowers and cut the excess off. Okay, 
So that does it for this green. Just get it out of the way. And now we go into the purple. So again, this is very simple to create. Okay, so let's say you are starting off. Let me just give you a little bit more. And you would start right on the edge here of any of the green, right on the where we have four double crochets. You'd start on the first one here just before the three chain, okay? So you do a single, okay? So you do a single crochet start off with that and then you do three chain and then you'd come on the first one here also and you do a single also okay and then you're going to come on the first double crochet right in the middle where the middle is of the okay and you'd grab it here from the side you're going inside of this first double crochet here. So come inside like that, okay? Turn your work a bit, make it easier on you, and we're doing half double crochet. And again, so we're gonna do that three times, half double crochet and half double crochet. Now you're going to turn your pattern, let it work with you, much easier, so you turn, and now you're going to grab the first double crochet here too, and you're going to come back into the middle, and you're going to pull it out on this side, and you're going to do your half double crochet back into the middle, so we're doing three again, so you're going to have three in one side, and three on the other side. So now we got the three double crochet. And I got a piece of white thread with it. How nice. Okay. So now you've turned, now it's facing you. You're going to come and you're going to do your double crochet where we did the three chain. So we're going to do straight double crochet. Of course, I had to pull onto my threads, right? Let's restart this again. And don't make it like too much of loose loop here because then it's gonna look kind of funny. So we're grabbing the chain here, the purple chain, and we're doing one, two, three, and I believe I have four. One, two, three, four, yes. And then we're gonna do another one. So we're gonna have four double crochet. We're gonna do the peacock, so we're gonna do three, chain, we're gonna go in, and we're gonna slip stitch right through it because I don't want a separation. If we do a single, we're gonna have a separation on there and I don't want that. So we're gonna do the four double crochet again, all in the same place inside of this chain, the purple chain, so we have four. Now, you're gonna come on your first half that we did and you're gonna close it in with single. I uh, would slip stitch, sorry. So you have your first one done, okay? One chain. I'm gonna do it again, don't worry. So one chain, we're gonna go into the middle here. Single, one chain. Now, we're gonna grab where we closed off over here, right, and we closed them all off together so it's like coming on the first double crochet we're gonna do single we're gonna do one two 
and three and don't loosen it too too much either because we don't want uh, to have too much space for the for the petals so we come into the first one here and do single okay now we're going to come inside of the middle and we're going to go right through the first double crochet and we're going to do we're going to turn our flower a bit our paddle there and we're going to do half double crochet and again half double crochet and half double crochet so we got three now now we're going to work on this one here going up so we're going to turn our pattern a bit so now we're turning it again we're going to go on the first one here and we're going to create the three half double crochets like that turn the pattern to the front okay we're going to do the double crochet inside where we have the chain here okay so double crochet so we're going to do four I'm going to do four double crochets here because we're making the back part of the flower so that's two three and four we're going to do chain three for the peacock okay and we're going to do four more inside of the same space double crochet to create the other half of the flower two three and four we're going to come on our first half double crochet and we're going to close it in with slip stitch So now you have your second flower one chain we're going to come in the center here and single one chain we're going to do it one more time together so we're going to come here on our first where we closed in all the four double crochets single one two chain and we're coming into the other first one here and we're doing single so now you got this little chain to work with it in the back now we're going to come in and sideways for our first uh, half double crochet so we're, we're doing three turn your your flower a bit so you have one you have two and you have three half double crochets you're going to turn your flower and you're going to grab it again from here make sure you're not grabbing like the second double crochet so we got to grab the first double crochet right here And we're doing three half double crochet so now we got the three we're going to turn our work to the front again just going to put my needle the other way i mean my thread as you can see i'm not moving the whole pattern i'm just playing with it back and forth so now we're going to do the double crochet inside of the space here of the where we did the three chain and we're going to do four double crochets so one two three and four 
free chain for the peacock. Oops. And slip stitch. Oop. Again, four double crochet. So very simple. It's just very delicate, right? Now we have the four double crochet. We're going to come where the first half double crochet is, right on the first one. And we're going to slip stitch through it one chain and come into your first double crochet here where it separates and single. So now you got your, your calla lily. One more time, just in case. So one chain. We're going to come on the first one here. And single. One, two, and three chain. We're going to come on the other first one here. And single. And then we're going to come in from the inside and the, we're getting in from the back of the double crochet. We're going to turn our pattern a bit and bend it a bit so we can get our needle through it. We're doing three singles, uh, three half uh, double crochets, sorry. Me and my coat, sometimes it's unbelievable. I'm still getting used to it, people, so please bear with me. So we're going into the next one here. And we're do we're going in the first one. And we're doing half. And back in again. And half and back in again. So three halves. We're going to turn our work. Just passing my thread to the back because I'm not turning the whole pattern so obviously it stays all crumpled up. And we're going to grab the back loop here of the purple and do our four double crochets. Three and four. One, two, and three. We're going to slip stitch and create four more. Two, three, and four. We are going into our first one here. Of the half double crochet and slip stitch through it one chain on the middle between flowers single one chain and again restart your flower all over again so one two and three this is very simple people and again, single there. So you're creating this little loop to create a back paddle on it. We're coming in from the side. Turn your pattern a bit. And we're doing half double crochet. Another half, so it's three halves. Turn your pattern to the back of you. And we're going in and grabbing in between the single here, the first one, uh, not single double crochet, and we're doing three singles. And one more. 
We're going to turn the pattern to the front. And we're grabbing the back loop here, the purple ba uh, back loop, and doing four double crochets. Yeah, it's a little bit tight and, and tiny to work with, but we can do this because we're pros, right? How many do I have here? I want to make sure that I have my four. No. Yes, I do. Two, three, chain. We're doing a picot slip stitch. And again, four more double crochets. Three and four. Now we're going to come to the first one here and we're going to close it in with slip stitch and one chain and come into the middle here and do the single. Okay, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Now, I'm going to show you with the yellow, and then you're pretty much done. Oh, I have the yellow up here. Good God. Just give me a second. Okay, you guys, so let's say you're going to start... Um, in the middle, never mind this, not the middle here, but you're going to start in the middle of the flower. So you'd bend it and you'd grab the green that you have there and you do a single and you do chain three. So you got chain three, now you're going to do, oops, you're going to do, next space, you're going to do single, and next space, you're going to do a single, so now you got two singles, and right where we did the the sing the first single you're gonna do two singles on it you're gonna come back in to the middle where we started and you're gonna do a single just so you can stay in place you're gonna do one chain you're gonna come in between where we did the single with the purple and you're gonna do a single on it and one chain and again you want to come into the middle where the, where the, oops, I'm almost knocking down my camera. And single. One, two, three. Next space here, you're going to do a single. And a single. And where we have started the single, you're going to do another single. You're going to go in the middle and you're going to close it in with a single one chain in between the, the flowers, single, like that, and one chain, and back into the middle of the green, single, one, two, three, next space, Single, single, single where the first uh, single is, and back in with single, one chain. Now, as you see, they're in the back. So what do you want to do? You want to pull it. Just want to pull it to the front. Okay. Okay. 
and there it is. I'm going to grab this one, pull it to the front, and there it is. And this one would be the same thing. I'm still working on it. Okay, so do yours, and I'll meet you once we are here at the edge. So I can tell you what we're going to do with it. So I'll meet you as soon as I'm done with purple. I'll meet you there. You guys, so we're getting to the curve. Just finished doing my, my last one here. So we do that one chain. Very simple, nothing to it. So you're just going to go into the first uh, double uh, single here and just do singles. Okay? So nothing to it. You get to the attachment of the both patterns and you just do singles over singles. So very simple. And then you would do your, you just go directly, I should say, into that first uh, chain that we have. Continue doing your three chains. You go into the first one here and you proceed to do your half double crochet, turn your pattern a bit or bend your flower there, your flower stem turn. And we're going to work on the other double crochet to do the half um, double crochets. So very simple. Of course, it's it's a little bit big, so um, it takes a little bit of time to create these flowers, but end result is very well worth it. You know, you got a gorgeous pattern on top of your table or anywhere that you like to display it in a buffet uh, table, in your counters, uh, your dining room table or your kitchen, it doesn't matter. So then you do your four double crochet, you do your three chain, and you're going to slip stitch at once. Remembering that if you do a single while you're closing the peacock, it's going to leave a space open. So that's why I like to slip stitch on it. Then you come to your first uh, half double crochet and you close it up. And then you continue from there on. One chain. Go into the single here with a single, one chain. And you proceed the same way as you've been doing. Three chain, come into the first one here. And then get your needle through and do your, your half double crochets. So we do three. Turn your pattern so it can make things easier on you. Come into the first one here and do your half your half double crochet. Turn the pattern to the front, make it easier again. Make sure your thread is pulled to the back. And on the on the three chain on the purple, we're gonna do the double crochet, four double crochets. Your three chain for the peacock. Close it in with slip stitch and four more double crochets. And 
can you come into your first where you have your half double crochet and there it is look how cute that is and then we'll proceed once we're done with this we're going to proceed with the yellow to do the little stem in the middle so I'll meet you at the end okay so we pretty much came to the end we're going to do one chain we're just going to uh, hook it right in the middle of the other paddle there and cut our thread Dogs are going nuts over the cat. This cat is is such a bugger. Bugs the cat, uh, the dogs every day. So I don't think I have any of my recordings that the dog is the dogs are not barking and the cat is not teasing them. Like it drives me insane. But what can you do? It's either that or I can't record. Okay, so made my knot, just gonna cut the leftover thread there. Just tuck it in. So now we're gonna continue on with the yellow. And before I forget, so we have the middle here that we need to tuck in also. Just cut a bit here for some reason. I had a knot there. And we're going to tuck this in also because we want to make sure that all of this is secure. So we pull in through the middle pieces here. It's not going to go anywhere because it's well sealed in tight in these stitches. And just pretty much cut the excess off. And there it is. Okay, so we'll continue now with the yellow. Okay, so I guess this is where I left off because I was working on both of them at the same time. So, I can't remember how many chains I did, I believe it was two. So we're going to go into the middle here, one, two, and into the middle. I think it was two, I'm going to check that in a second. And we're going to, this should be okay. One, two, three chain. We're going to go in with the uh, next one, single. So we're going to have two singles. And right where we started the single, three single. And come back into the green and do a single. So now you got your other little. Let me try with one chain, see if it works out. Yeah, probably do one chain so it doesn't show too much of the yellow. And maybe if we don't want too much, let me see if I can work this without showing too much of this yellow here by grabbing only the back part here of the two loops of the single. Maybe it's best. And we can do a single there, one chain, and go back into the middle here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I should have done that already from the beginning, but anyway, I have only a few, so it's okay. Not the end of the world. So we'll do that to hide the, the yellow. One, two, three, chain. Go in the next one. Single. Next one. Single. And the first one that we did the single to go up the three chain. Back inside with the green with the single. So you have it one chain. Now let's go in the back here where the two loops are of the single separating the two the two flowers. You either could do a single or you can just slip stitch whatever works best. It doesn't change anything on the pattern. You see and it won't show. I should have done that from the beginning. But 
No issues. I'm not going to take it down now. It's only a, a few of them. One, two, three. Single. Single. And on the first one, single. And then back into the green. Single. One chain. I'm going to come back here, grab the two loops here from the single between the flowers. My stitch is always so tight, I have a hard time. So either you could slip stitch or make a single. I'm just going to do a slip stitch, it's faster. I'm going to grab my green. One, two, three. So anyway, it's repeatedly the same thing. And I'll meet you when we get to the, cur the curve in between the, the patterns to see how we're going to proceed uh, with that. Okay. So I'll meet you at the connection of the patterns together. Okay, you guys, we pretty much reached the, almost at the end. Well, I'm almost at the end anyway, because of course I've been advancing it so the um, recording is not too long. So I did my last one here, as you see. Let me just pull it up a little bit more. And I did my one chain. Now I'm going to come from back here in between the flower and that single. And I'm just going to pass through and do singles. So in from the back into the front, into the back, and pull it out as a single. And then again. And then again. So we're doing only singles here between the patterns, just so we don't have too much of the yellow showing. It's going to show a little tiny bit, but that's perfect. It's like flowers growing. Okay, so then we go into the back here where the green is. And continue doing our three chains. Now, reminder that if you're doing with thicker and you want this uh, middle piece to be a little bit longer, then you can do four chains, five chains, depending on the size you would like. It doesn't change anything on the pattern. You're just making this little middle piece of the flower longer, a little stem there. Okay, one chain, and then we continue. Oops, what am I doing? And then we continue on doing our little back thing here. Sometimes I do singles, sometimes I do slip stitch. Anyway, it doesn't make any difference on the pattern. This is to through the back part. And I will have, um, I'm almost at the end now, I will have the pictures in display. And I'm also going to put on the kitchen table and do a little recording on it so you can see what it looks like, the final result. I hope you guys like this tutorial and like this pattern. I hope you create it and let me know if you do. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support and all your kind words and everybody in the groups and just people that are just embarking in this journey with me. I thank you so much. It means a lot, and please don't forget to give it those thumbs up on the video. It's very important, and also share um, with your friends and family, and tag me along on Instagram or whatever social media you have, and have my work be shown to the world like I do. So I thank you so much, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all have a wonderful um, Easter, because Easter is around the corner. This would be perfect for people that want to give their moms, you know, it's a beautiful pattern as a beautiful gift for Mother, or even Mother's Day, but, you know, if you want to alternate between Easter and Mother's Day, then. And you could also make uh, doilies out of this, just simple doilies with these flowers on it. It's also gorgeous and have have it as a set in display also with the table runner so you can have like the doilies and then the living room this in the kitchen or dining room or whatever you'd like 
Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I do answer them. And I send my hugs to every single one of you. And thank you again so much for your support. It means a lot. And um, I'm very humble by it. Whoops, I was doing the wrong thing here. That's what happens when I'm concentrating on talking. And Okay, so I'm going to finish up my pattern. And I am finished already here, as you can see. And I'm going to tidy up loose ends. And I will be coming out with some other ideas for the next tutorial for sure. Now you would just go here right in the back. Slip stitch, go in between where the, the uh, yellow is, slip stitch. Cut your thread, pull your thread through it. I get my thread through the loops here and sometimes it's a little bit harder for me because my stitch is so tight so we try what we can and I'm going to um, make a knot because I like to knot all my patterns just to make sure that nothing comes apart and then hide a little bit more of the thread. And cut the excess off. And we're pretty much done, people. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull all my little yellow stems here to the front. Make sure that they face the, the right way and I will go and set it up and take some pictures and do a little bit of the recording. So thank you so much again everyone. Until next time, take care.